Okay, so in this video, I'm going to be testing out OpenSUSE KDE Plasma on the Pi 4. And so this is another KDE Plasma distro for the Pi, and it is based off OpenSUSE. So I've just I've just installed it. Haven't looked at it that much, but so far it's looking pretty well. I can tell some bugs. One thing it states on their website is the audio problem. There's a problem with the audio, and they still need to fix that audio. So that's a big thing that I think that they need to fix. And we have these little widgets at the bottom here, and then if you click on here, we have console, system settings, Firefox, applications. There's not that many applications already pre-installed. We do have GIMP. That's cool. Internet. We have Chromium and Firefox. Settings. We have these settings apps. And systems. We have these system apps. So, if we start out with some web browsing to see how web browsing performs, let's first open up Firefox and then we'll test out Chromium. Oh, I have it connected to the, to the internet. Let me just connect. Okay, there we were. I had it plugged in my Ethernet cable. Totally, that was my problem. So I open up Firefox and we get this open source search. But if we go over to a different website, so let's go over to YouTube and test out some YouTube videos to see how it performs. Click on this video right here. It goes into full screen nicely. Doesn't have a little stop like some operating systems do. Skip into the action part. Here we are. So, looking pretty smooth. Some tearing is going on it's not the best performance of course because the best performance of youtube in my opinion is either on raspberry pi os manjaro and android on the pi those are the best performances in my opinion ubuntu could be included too actually yeah but it's watchable yes it's watchable And if I just click exit screen, it exits right up. And then let's just go over to Amazon.com, look at some scrolling and how that performs for us. Here we are. And then if we click on electronics. We can scroll down here, click on different stuff. So Amazon looks like it's loading really nicely. I can go like this, and it all loads pretty well. So Firefox seems pretty well. Now let's take a look at Chromium. So we can compare the two. Go over to Internet, and open up Chromium. doesn't seem to be launching that's weird so like I said before this operating system definitely has some bugs in it it's not the best operating system for the Pi but this video is just to show you guys give you guys a showcase of it and to let you guys see how it is so on the home screen right here we have home and you can choose application to open yeah and then we have trash and if we go over here to configure desktop, we could change our desktop background. If there are any different fold pictures, doesn't look. If I click get new wallpapers, what can I do? 
Oh, so there's lots of cool wallpaper in here. But first, I really love KDE, the desktop interface. It's probably my favorite, or definitely one of my favorite for Linux. And one thing I love is the theming. You can do theming so easily on here. So if I open up system settings and go over to global theme, So there's already three themes installed, but if I go get new global theme, there are tons of these things that I can do. There's White Sir, Sweet Mario, there's M Makos Mojave, there's this cool theme that looks pretty interesting there. There's a Windows 10, there's this dark theme. This one looks pretty cool to me, so if I click install, let's see if it installs for me. So it's just downloading it right now. Okay, it's done installing. Let's close this up. Let's click on LAN. Didn't mean to do that. So if I click on this, click apply, let's see what happens. So it must be applying it right now. That's why it So this is what it's done. We have it's kind of like Mac OS on the sides. Looks pretty cool actually. I like the look. It's not exactly like my Mac OS. Then we click on home and this is all colorful here. This looks really nice actually. This is really nice. And then we have console which is the terminal. And if we open it up, it looks like this, which is a cool look. I like this theme, yeah, it's pretty cool. And to make the theme even better, if I right click configure desktop, and let's go to wallpaper, and we have Leon right here to install. So if I click apply and OK, this just makes it even better. Oh, so this is like a launcher. But yeah, this looks pretty cool actually, this operating system, and there are tons of themes that you can get from here, and it's just a nice little choice for the Raspberry Pi. But if you ask me if you want a KDE desktop, the best KDE desktop you're going to get on the Pi is, of course, Manjaro. It just performs so well, and the, they have everything working on there, and so it's a better choice, but... If you like to test out different operating systems and just see how they work, if you're and like me, go for this one. Test it out and tell me how you like it down below in the comments. And please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe.